this point in time, <coughs> we've tried so many things, and we have been less than ideally successful with all of them. But it is still not a time to give up. We will reach the final boss on Expert. One way or the other, we will do it. Maybe not today. Probably not today. Because today I plan on going back to my roots. But one day, we will see the final boss. And we'll like it. Hello everyone, it is Akatrius here. And I welcome you to... I think... I should number the episodes. So I can do that. Yeah, let me just... Let me just uh, edit the titles and put the episode number in there. That sounds like something I should do. Anyway, today, we're going to go back to the first comp I've ever played, which was Ironheart and Pressel. I've also used this comp for the first video, in which I explained all the basic stuff. And I've... I've, like, um, focused so much on Lian in the past that I didn't actually use Pressel in a long time. Because also I've, I've been abusing the best healer in the game in, uh, in Our Boy Joy. And to which I say, I kind of hope that going forward... Bail, uh, buff the other healers or nerf Joy. Because this is a bit ridiculous. Like, the the, the gap between the, between uh, how good Joy is and how good like Pressel is the second best healer in the game is. Or Hus, in my opinion, also a very good healer. But the gap between those is just ginormous. Anyway, we already know these characters, so there's nothing much to talk about here. We get high energy emission, and this is very bad. Oh god. Um, and frontline cover. I want. I kind of want to get shield bash or a uh, shockwave, but we'll see. We'll see. Not. Not all is lost yet. So for so on frontline cover. Basic attack and a heal. Get rid of that protect. We need more attack. Alright. That. Then this will die. We use accelerate on the regular attack. Deal some damage. It hits us. But we hit it with an high energy emission. So it should quite easily perish. Nice. Good start. Pressel gets a level up here. And yeah, I do want Holy Light for sure. And I want. Ooh, double heal is very good. But also healing coil. I like healing coil more than double heal because of the. Uh, because of the cost. We get Vazerold. Vazerol is basically a card that says, uh, uh, an equip that says, you use all the, uh, all the skills of a character this turn or you'll be screwed. Nothing that we want to equip quite yet, but maybe soon. I also kind of want to invest in a card draw skill. This only draws us one card. This casts twice after the cooldown. I don't, I don't like countdown skills. Ray of Light is somewhat decent, but it costs two. You go for Divine Revelation. Let us, uh, because it's free anyway, let us buff out our Vatzerold. Okay, we already know what an ID scroll looks like, and we know what a uh, lifting scroll looks like. That's also really good. Let's see what our first boss is gonna be. Is it going to be the armor of I want to die? Or is it dog? I like the dog. Dog good. 
Alright, all we have to do against a dog is hit it. So, I wonder if you can figure out what I'm gonna do. I get the Vine Revelation here, so let's see what we can get. I'm... Every time I do this wrong. Anyway, we've got healing gauge protection as long as this holds up, so we're Gucci. Going for a high energy emission. And then for a healing coil, because this heals a lot now. And we can heal him. Then accelerate, basic attack, bonk him. And we're sitting pretty dandy. This is a good place. This would have been a good place for us to. Uh, Yeah, this would have been a good place for us to have shield bash. Something along those lines. Yeah. Right, kinda need to draw attacks but no. relation. Zero cost basic attack. And I screwed up again. Anyway. Okay, I had your mission, he will attack with Scratch, which will sadly influence our healing gauges. Basic kill on you, you will roar. The fog comes in. The only real bad part about, uh, I decided to go about this is um, we don't have damage for the first boss. But as you can see, it isn't so much a problem. Or is it? Now, as we have killed the first boss, we will have to decide. Ooh, I like this. I like increased morale. I don't want. I don't want to say anything yet, but could this be the run? Can we give that pressel? My favorite equip in the game, among others. There are some more that I really like. Okay, we get Azar, Karan, Joey, or Miss Chain. Joey would be great if we had Shield Bash. We don't have Shield Bash. Ah. Uh... Azar will be great in general. I like Azar. But Charon is also really good and can technically get a heal. I think I'd take Charon. Take a golden skill book. We'll get. Hmm. I think Shadow Pillar is also a good one. Well, we'll find out. We give increased morale to Pressel. And we level we level up our mana. Not sure about this. But it is an enchantment, so it must be positive. Right? Healing power plus one and a crit chance plus three. Already makes it worth to put it on Pressel. All right, let's see. What two two does for us? Uh, one two does for us. So. Okay, give me some bread. Uh, we we have a nice amount of money here, so that'll be great. But I'm still worried that we're not strong enough yet. Okay, this is kind of awkward. Uh, divine revelation. This will cost one once I get it, so it's kind of weird. I think I just take... Oh, this will cost one. I take the... Every time I do it wrong, I, I have to pick one and I draw the other two. Okay, if I do this though... Oh, this is swiftness, great. Then you hit... 
actually just do a frontline cover. Then we increase morale and hit. That way we have a fake barrier. Which we will need. We ex we don't accelerate the healing coil. The gate gets bumped by one. Take this and hope for the best. He be dead. Then we do this. We get a really big healing. Enchanted ring procs. We just hit her. That oh, it got healing gauge protection right. Frontline cover is base. And then they're dead. Now we can level up Caron once, and that'll hopefully give us. Focus encroachment. Oh, scattered dog. Okay, but first get a scattered darkness. But if I get focus encroachment right after, I will take it. Yeah, that was very optimal. Okay, where where is the shop here? We do have a lifting screw for that, so that'll not be a problem. There's an altar of greed. We are, I would say, in a very good spot. The only way we can make this spot better. Quite literally, would be by uh, by simply yeah getting shield bash. I'm thinking about that for a long time. Okay, just make a setup turn here. I think that's more valuable and hit it once. Cast the aura that will deal a little bit of that will make them deal a little bit more damage Enough to even break through our barrier Whoa. Woo -hoo. Okay, what do we get here nothing good in that case I Just hit it you the dark spark still have a healing gauge resistant uh, healing gauge protection so that's that's okay this should be enough. Yep. You what? You're telling me I get two enchanted rings this run. A free soul stone, one free gold, a potion, and the same potion, but again. Nice. And two enchanted rings. We have a screenshot. All right, we can level up bow, and I do want to level up. Actually, I, I want to wait until I get the I, until I get the skill book. There is more stuff uh, stuff up here, and immediately I find the shop, and I do have a lot of money. So, uh, yeah, I take all of this. I want to identify at least this potion, which could be healing potion actually. And this potion. Debuff and Hans, but it only works on stun, so yeah. We do not get shield bash, but we do get charge of faith. Which is a great attack for Ironheart. Yeah, we got it. Okay, it's still not shield bash though, so I do want to level up him. We get Shockwave, which is the next best thing. It's Shield Bash, but weaker, but AoE. Alright. Protectus Ring is really good for Ironheart. Healing Potion is generally really good. One thing I noticed in my past videos is just thinking about it, not rewatching them. Uh, I rarely use my items that I have here in battle. I usually just forgot I have them. Overclock sounds fun. But also not really good against the final boss. Unless I get a really good damage dealer. Overclock is the best skill here anyway.
Our draws are a bit bad. So we might have to invest in uh another draw skill with the next fight. Instead of leveling up. First a cursed. We have focus encroachment here, we don't have a really good healing skill in hand. And we lift the curse immediately. Okay. Focus encroachment onto you. And we overclock. Yep, scatter darkness. Charge of faith. Easy. The light. Easy. And shadow pool. Alright, and that should be it. Oh no! He only takes 9 damage from this. Doesn't really matter, you die. Alright, uh, I think we should first loot. Pools. There's no more stuff that we need, so we take this. We get not good cards. We take last resort, I think. So basically, equip wise, we're pretty decent. Except for this. I don't know what this is supposed to do. Uh, but draw skill wise, we are very much screwed. Alright, let's see what boss we're fighting in this The Witch. This situation, I would love to have more healing skills because we have Shockwave. Though I also want to preserve Shockwave for next turn. Right, one thing I want to do for sure is uh, one thing cover. And also, I want to redraw one. Eh. Actually, good. One enchanted ring. All we have to do is create a big barrier. And this should wipe out everyone. Except for her, of course. Oh, uh, we give the charge to... Caron. We redraw this. I like this right now. Okay, we do this. Then we overclock. Ooh. This also makes our deck smaller, which is actually a pretty okay for this. Okay, we know one. We do want the weakening curse on her. Uh, I I don't think I have touched on that yet though. But uh, since her real, since her only real damage output comes from the encroachment, and the encroachment is not affected by attack, we can just give it to her. Always. I want to redraw skill though. Okay, we get high energy emission. We just attack twice, I think. I wanna heal her. And let's rip. This is uh, for two turns, so we shouldn't be bothered. With this. Drop the last resort. Pair above attacking. Shit, I think I should big bonk and then holy light. Crucifying Curse comes on to Ironheart because she's bleeding. She will heal one. Actually, I can recall. Oh, yeah, great. And there's the Shockwave I won the last turn. We go for the basic protect. How much damage does this deal? Hmm. I think we can do good damage with that.
Virgie. He steals Taeon. Shield skips a turn. Right, charge of faith will hit. Holy light. And we just win here. She wants to take a turn. She takes 10 damage from encroachment and she dies. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Thanks of a shockwave. We get Dark Moonlight, which increases our debuff resistance. Really good. Skill book, a lifting scroll, soul stone. Yeah, but we're, this is a pretty nice toll. Pretty decent, if I do say so myself. Alright, skill book. Tarp area is pretty bad, I think. Actually, no. I mean, it, it costs two, which is bad. I think I take another charge of faith. I mean, Proph prophecy is good. Uh, pur purifying barrier is okay. It grants a barrier and uh, it's a debuff removal. Nah, I use Shot of Faith. Screw it. What do we get off here? Is there Shield Bash? No. There's Weapon Breaker. Easily Ironheart's best attack. And now we're already stacked on stuff. And we don't even have Shield Bash. Should be too bad though. Uh, I place our relic into here. Fucking hell. I always forget turning this off because I usually am not getting. Uh, I usually am not getting written to, but apparently every time I do think that, well, that was the first message I received this entire day. Let's just say it like that. Anyway. Um, we got four bolts, so let's just level up our two characters again. We get one more healing coil, which is really good on Pressel, and we get one more. We actually do get one dark heal. I mean, this is also pretty good. This is also pretty, I want to try Soul Stigma. All right. Now onto the bloody park. I'm somewhat happy with this comp. The only thing I will change is getting shield bashes. Okay, don't have enough, I don't have enough money for the ID school. Sag. All right. Uh, shield bash. So at this point, he has seven skills. She has five. She has five. Uh, I think I am going to drop frontline cover. No, I I'm gonna drop one of the charge of faith. Getting the shield bash more consistently is one of our win cons. Ooh, a hand of stars. Now I really need an ID scroll because Hell Stars is really good. That is one of the things I would like to give uh, Ironheart. Right. I'm not sure, but or rather the, the, the bird damage dealer, which we'll be getting. Which I would love if that would be Leon. Leon would round up this combo very, very well. Or a second healer like Joey, but I don't think we can. Dra we'll be able to draft Joey twice. We'll see though, as we go into the next fight, and it's it's the Mouse Brigade. And they both resisted my encroachment. Yikes! So we just do this. This also does not kill them. Which is really bad, because this hits that. 
Okay, uh... Shockwave is great here. Four damage, eh? Damn it. It's four again. I tried. We focus encroachment, nice. It's your turn first. We cast holy light. That thing dies. And we get a soul stigma again. Uh, uh soul stigma onto you. Interesting. So yeah, Soul Stigma with uh, Lian could be interesting. I want to try that. But anyway, we get this. Four damage, great. Uh, healing Coil onto him, so this will get mitigated. Nice. And now we just have to fu uh, somehow kill that, for which we just drew over. I do want to increase my max mana by one. That's one of my plans for this, uh, for this part. Yeah, it's better to throw that away. No unknown scroll. Also, vitality scroll. So there's a swiftness. What is this? Transfer. Good. Thing is, with the scrolls, you can actually uh, just try them out. So usually the scrolls all. Uh, usually the scrolls just have useful effects. But the potions are really dangerous. Alright, I do have free lifting scrolls, so let's go into this fight. Hmm. Well, uh, a healing call. We lift the curse, then we scatter the dog. We're just good enough to hit us all, and then we just overclock. Because apparently that also hits when we are stunned. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, this will deal 46 damage right now. Look at her barrier, man! Whoa! I'm kinda sad it's not, it's not all gone now. Alright, uh. Double basic attack of Soul Stigma. Give him that. And now he should slowly kill himself. Or we just dodge. Anyway, uh, high energy ambition on you. Ever one breaker on you. Easy peasy, we got it. Now we can increase our mana again. So we have five max mana, but with our two enchanted rings, it's probably closer to six. Right. Uh, Overclock is probably a good skill here. Or shockwave. I, don't have, I do have healing in hand. I should have fine energy mission to first. Well. Mm, she 
get bombed. And it wouldn't break. He dies to the encroachment, which is great. We get the Charter Faith. Uh, hmm. Kill the mage. He will do the root and spell on him, which sadly does this thing. But then we get big healing and a shield back that deals 62 damage. Alright, I wanna buy another I wanna buy a key. And the ID scroll. Because I want to know what more of my potions do. A mana potion, what does this do? A mapping scroll. Great. In that case. Get a golden apple. That is indeed quite nice. That way we can... Uh, probably do something here. What happens if I put this in? Put makes a legendary thing. Ooh. Remove maximum hit rate limit. Which would be nine ninety-eight percent, so there's always a chance to uh to miss. Critical chance of increases above one hundred percent hit rate whenever you attack. So I suppose every point of uh, every percent of hit uh, hit rate that exceeds 100 becomes crit rate. I don't know, but I give it to Iron Art. Nice. What do we get here? Joy's mysterious powder. Well, for nothing else, we get to Garon. So there you go. All right, the one thing I really want is uh, for this next thing to either give me, to either give me, I can, what shall I call it? First, we need to, we need to be able to kill this boss. This is uh, problem number uno. I think we'll manage though. Do I want to get another draw skill, or do I want to level anyone? I think, yeah, we'll we'll level you. And get your get you a second focus encroach. All right, now we go in. It is the tank. Tank hurts. Kaboom! Everyone fucking dies. All right, uh. We go for overclock. Okay, you're healing Carl Fur. And she focuses on encroachment. Anything else I can get? I can get another encroachment off. Or I just heal Pressel. Alright, this is a difficult fight because we also already don't have our best skill anymore. Uh, I wanna get Last Resort here because it'll draw three cards. So Stigma this keeps up for three turns, so the next Kaboom is going to be covered. All right, she's back to pull out. We redraw the focus, and there we go. Nice too. Find revelation. Shot of faith would be good. But I think I wanna... No, I wanna use the... 
great. Okay. Next turn is another Kaboom turn, which might kill it. I don't know if it can kill, but it might. Shockwave here. And if everything works according to plan, Soul Sticker didn't work. Encroachment doesn't care about your heavy armor. <laughs> what a weird way to get to through this fight. What a weird way indeed, but we did it. And that's what counts. Alright, we finished this stage where there was only one key. What's this again? Oh yeah, the tumbler. Actually, let me throw away some more stuff. I don't need this. I don't know if I need this yet. I don't really need bread. And I'll, I, will, I don't know what these potions do, man. I don't need a transfer scroll, though. I found a teleport scroll. Meh. I'll just keep what I have. Actually, I can uh, identify one or two things. Which I shouldn't do. Which I shouldn't do. Yeah. Never mind. Let's just... Let's just go... Let, let's just... Let's just... Do the thing. Alright. What do we got here? We get Sis, who will be a healer, so Ironheart likes that. We get Narhan, who can technically heal. We get Silverstein, who has less than ideal uh, synergy with our comp. Or we get Azar. Narhan would be good because we can use both CC things on him, because he kind of likes to CC stuff. Hmm. He's a debuff, uh, uh, debuff guy who also likes having more HP. Silverstein is great with single target attacks, but nothing else. Azar just creates a lot of swords. Difficult. Very difficult. What do I do here? Azar would be a great a great choice for damage. I feel. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I have what well, I have him as a flexible character, so let's go for full damage. This might have been a mistake, not gonna lie, but I, I don't care. All right, the first skill we get is already bad. The second skill we get is pretty good, and the third skill we get is also good. Which means we have two Illusion Sword Scrolls. One of our Illusion Sword Calling. Great. Let's see what we can do here. Do we get a Sending Slice? We do not. We get Blinking Heal. Which is what I gotta take here. Also, this helps us with regular enemies, so we take this. Okay. Going on into 2-2. Two, two. Hoping not to perish. We don't have any keys yet. We should find a shop to buy them. I find everything except for a shop. Which bugs me a little bit. Oh, there's a shop. It's guarded by a cursed enemy. Okay, I want... I have Shield Bash. The Curse... Uh... Be gone? Awesome. This will also shortly kill this guy though. One, two, three. Boom, 
they do their thing. Yep. More enemies, always nice. The uh, so going sounds good. It's weakness. Judge of Fave is also pretty good here. Deals a lot of damage. I like dealing damage. Bonk. Uh, I want to kill the mage just first. They can draw a lot of cards here. Right. Uh, you do this, you do this, and then we overclock. And with this we just won this fight, because she will die as soon as she, uh, she takes action. Great. Overclock works, even though reorganized would be way better, but if it works, it works. Two unknown scrolls, giving them the heebies. We can increase our max mana again, so now we have seven. Well, six, but we have two enchanted rings. Sad that only one of them works at a time. That would be pretty based. We could get like two mana from that. But apparently life does want us to suffer. So we will. Anyway, going to this shrine and get a an endless magic parchment. This can technically be incredibly good. Because we can enchant it endlessly. Okay. We do have shock waves. Technically, we can just technically we can just holy light, uh, holy light shock wave, and be funny. Pressel is the only one who got stunned. Poor Pressel. Right, we got two of clowns. Focus Brojman is probably the best choice here. This, then hit this. this, then hit this. Takes a lot of damage. We discard this so we can lose him. All right. Now pain will ensue. Nobody gets stunned. Okay, you get damage. You receive damage. You receive more damage, and you die. Great. This is looking pretty, pretty sick so far. All right, I'm gonna. For this time, I'm thinking enchanting the ancient's aura gla uh, ancient's glasses, and I want to give that to Azar now. Xarzar likes Bob. And the parchment goes to. Person? And this goes to Ironheart? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a guy. Right, what's up here? There's this. Okay, throw out some useless stuff. Well, I know what this is now what we have two about. I don't care about this anymore. I definitely do not care about this. I want to know what, what this is. Grants me a criminal's ring. It's probably cursed. Okay, but we have a skill book. No ascending slice, but we do get shining pillar. Shining pillar is great. It's a good healing skill. The boss should be around here. Yep. And we still have the spite down here. Come and bring triggers, we get shot of faith. That's cool. And 
and that should be enough. More enemies! Mainly because I want to play all of here. Every time. Ooh, that's pretty good. Shockwave. And we just end the turn. That wave is gone. We get holy light. And we win. No more enemies wanted to see me in the face of my holy light. One soul stone, a small barrier generator, and some stuff. I think I'm gonna increase our mana once more. I don't feel like we need to level. I think the only character who would need who would like a level is Azar. But we'll get him a skill anyway, somehow. And our party works. Not having a sending slice or a storming blade right now isn't isn't the worst thing in the world. Let's just put it like that. We just put all the arrestors we, we get after this battle into the, into him. And it's the machine. Kind of good because Azar sucks against this guy anyway. But not her. She's pretty strong. Alright. Um, time Eater. We gotta be pretty... We gotta know what we are doing here. So. One. No matter who we hit with that, then you. And since I do not want uh, him to have a buff again, you may act yet again. And that's how this that's how this boss works. You get it. Oh, the boss cut me. So the the guy with uh, with a purple buff down there does not want the green buff at the end of the turn. That is uh simply put our game. My revelation because we do need healing coil. And I as always put uh, press the wrong button. Will I have learned? I don't know. Okay, the heal comes after twist time, which is pretty bad. And then we put in shockwave, I think. Okay, twist time. This result is great because it draws us four cards here. Okay, we get Overclock, which could be great, but we also get Shining Pillar. I'm gonna fast forward to Shining Pillar. Okay, we don't have a press a card in our hand. Shield Blade will take that. I knew it. Wow. He just cucked me. 
The game just cooked me twice in the same fight. In the same turn. Okay, we don't, gotta do this. To darkness, I think. Oh, last resort's good too. See all the way. And we get chucked again. Oh god, this this boss is just here to make me suffer, isn't he? I think the boss is about to cut me again. I am so unlucky! I am so incredibly unlucky! What the fuck is that? Wow. Just wow. I just die. No way. I kill him with me, but I die anyway. Because he cucked me four times in the same battle. Twice in one turn. What is my luck, man? What is my luck? Well, that was this episode. And yet again, we got completely killed by RNG, even though our run looked pretty good at the start. But that's just how it goes in roguelikes. So, I hope you tune again next time, when we try again to hit the last stage once. But until next time, bye bye.